Hello again. In this short, I'm going to give you yet another tip for success. It may seem so obvious that it doesn't need to be said, but I'm going to say it anyway. Read all of the instructions before you begin an assignment. Nothing is more frustrating than working really hard in a, on an assignment only to earn a low score. In an online class, it happens more often than I'd like to see, and more often than it does in my face-to-face -face classes, where I get to make sure to go over and clarify assignment instructions during class time. The most frequent reason this happens, that students work really hard on an assignment and get a low score on it in this online class, is because students tend to think they know what the assignment is asking, skip over the instructions and just jump right to the questions or exercises. But in skipping over the assignments instructions, students often miss many of the specific things I am grading for and the specific things that I want you to do, such as including quotations with page numbers and timestamps, defining terms in certain ways, applying concepts from handouts or readings, following a specific format or a template, and so forth. And the reason I am grading for those things is because my assignments are designed to help you develop and practice specific critical thinking skills that employers are looking for. They are also meant to help you design and practice specific communication skills that your future employers are looking for. Recent surveys of job listings found that critical thinking and communication skills were listed more frequently than other skills, even technical skills. My assignments aim to help you develop these human skills, these critical thinking and communication skills, by giving you structured writing tasks and communication exercises. For example, we're all aware of the messy, freewheeling, discordant state of so-called public discourse and debate on social media. When we debate issues on social media, it's just this <laughs> crazy people throwing stuff around all over the place talking past each other, talking past the issues, kind of mess. In this class, we're going to debate controversial issues in weeks two through seven, but these debates are structured in a specific way that is designed to elicit more careful and thoughtful analysis of multiple sides of an issue and more clear and effective communication about points of agreement and disagreement. I think often in our public discourse, we don't really know how to communicate with each other. We don't really know how to identify the points of disagreement. We just get on a team and we talk past each other and participants in public debate are not usually willing to look at both sides or change their mind. But the debates in this class are tailored to develop these critical thinking and communication skills that are useful in public discourse, in solving problems collaboratively with other people. But if you skip the instructions and don't follow the structure, uh, you're going to go in with the mindset that the debate is just kind of like an online debate in a social media platform. You're going to state your opinion on an issue and say your piece, but not really necessarily practice the specific skills the assignment is designed to help you practice. So to avoid this situation, this situation where you work really hard on an assignment and you still get a low grade on it, and also so that you make the most out of this class and really improve those human skills, those critical thinking and communication skills that all of your future employers are looking for, be sure to read all of the instructions on each assignment before beginning. This is going to help you avoid frustration and make the most out of this class. When you're done with an assignment, go back at the end to make sure you've completed all parts of the instructions and steps in the assignment. Again, that's just going to help you avoid a frustration and get more out of the class. That's all for now. Look for more 
tips on how to keep things in this class going swimmingly.